Hey guys, and welcome to Lucas and Ashley in the evening. My name's Ella. I'm Madison. Lucas and Ashley claimed that my job was too easy, so we sent them out to report hur Hurricane Florence. How are y'all doing? Hey guys! Sorry, Ellen Madison, we couldn't hear you of the sound of us doing your job better than you. We're here in Hurricane Flo Rida. As you can see, it's all clear here. Sounds good, guys. We'll keep checking in with you. Now let's talk about See You at the Pole. September 26th at your school's flagpole for a time of prayer. September 26th, also, see you after the poll, 6.15 p.m., right here at this church. It's a county countywide worship service. How's the weather going, guys? Here at Hurricane Foo Foo, as you can tell, the wind started to pick up a little bit, but we're men, and we can handle it! Back to you! We're supposed to be in sports right now. What's going on? This is ridiculous. This is supposed to be my free time. This is so... Hey, I'm Maddie, and this is your sports for this week. This past week in football, Fort Payne won, Fife won, Sylvania, Geraldine, and Cornerstone. Sadly, Plainview lost. This coming week, Plainview will be traveling to play the Sylvania Rams. This past week in volleyball, Plainview got second in the Geraldine tournament and won the last four games. Fort Payne got third in the Geraldine tournament and has also won the last four games. Good luck to all the teams this coming week. Thank you, Maddie, for actually being professional and doing your job right. And good luck to all the teams out there this week. Next, we're going to talk about the countywide dodgeball tournament. It's at the school coliseum on October 7th at 7 p.m. There's a $100 cash prize in both middle school and high school divisions. There can be five players on the field, but you can have a max of eight players on your team. There are flyers available tonight for you to pass out at your schools. Breaking news. Ashley and Lucas are getting a little bit wet out there. Back to the weather. Hey guys, we're over here at Hurricane Foodland. The rain started to pick up, but that's okay, because now you can't see my tears. Can we go home? We will get paid enough for this. Oh, well, okay. That's okay, because we're men. Yeah. We don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> yeah. I think y'all are doing just fine. In other news, regroups start tonight. These are smaller settings for us to talk about life together. We'll be having groups 7th through 9th grade and 10th through 12th grade. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, mug mouth. Do you need me to wash your mouth out with soap? Is it getting crazy out there? Uh, let's cut to weather. Here, Hurricane Fergie. It's starting to pick up. The rain's getting heavier. The wind's getting stronger. Get no. 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 Back to you guys. As we speak, Hurricane Florence has made landfall and is causing all kinds of destruction. But more importantly, let's talk about theme nights in October. On October 3rd, you dress as the future you. October 10th, holiday night. Come dress in a way you want to reflect your favorite holiday. And October 17th, it's animal night. Dress as any animal you want to be. October 24th, imitation night. Come dressed as anyone you want to imitate. And October 31st is character night. Whether it's a character from a book or a movie, you decide. Be whoever you want to be. We should probably check on Ashley and Lucas and see if they're still alive. We're still alive, ladies! Barely! We're here for Hurricane Fishkanaga and Iskanaga. It's raining! Yeah! yeah. It's pouring! Yeah! The old man is snoring! Oh, man! Oh! How do you feel about this hurricane, Stick? I'll save you! Thank you for joining us for another episode of Lucas and Ashley in the Evening. Or is it Madison and Ella in the evening? Ella and Madison. Madison and Ella.